DIS is the leader in seismic isolation, with over 250 building and bridge projects completed to date. As you see here, earthquakes caused considerable destruction to not only the structure, but also its contents. The shake table demonstration shows a building model that is not isolated. There is considerable damage to the contents. The same building is now isolated from the shake table and experiences much lower acceleration. Its contents are unaffected by the ground motion beneath it. The lead rubber bearing is made up of alternating layers of rubber and steel that provide high axial stiffness combined with low lateral stiffness. The lead core provides energy dissipation to absorb seismic motions. The isolators are typically installed under each column in a building and on the tops of piers in bridges. DIS has isolated several prominent historic structures. The most recent retrofit was the Utah State Capitol building with 273 isolators as large as 45 inches in diameter weighing 6,000 pounds each. Hospitals are excellent isolation candidates. An isolated hospital will be operational immediately after an earthquake because its contents will be undamaged. This is critical to saving lives after a disastrous earthquake strikes. The Sintian Hospital in Taiwan is currently the world's largest isolated building with 1.3 million square feet of floor space. It will be surpassed in 2007 by another hospital in Taiwan with 1.7 million square feet of floor space also protected by DIS isolators. This video footage is a prototype test for the Sintian Hospital. The 1.3 meter diameter bearing is displaced to one meter while supporting a load of 2,000 tons. The extreme performance of this bearing is achieved using advanced rubber formulations developed by DIS and by the incorporation of molding and processing techniques not normally used by the general rubber industry. Emergency centers and fire stations are popular applications of base isolation. The purpose of the emergency center is to be fully operational after an earthquake to enable recovery efforts to commence immediately after a disaster. The building will allow city, state and federal agencies to coordinate from one location. Condominiums are often isolated. The demand for them has been driven by their occupants who wish to live in safer, high-performance structures. Buildings that generate high revenues, such as computer chip